Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Tyler Merkovich, and that's Azar to Playbook, Emery Hunt. We're bringing you some FCS coverage, and we are in the Big South here. The Liberty Flames, winners of six straight, are at the Stony Brook Sea Wolves. And what the Flames like to do is run the rock with Aldricus Allen. The team is averaging 4.9 yards per carry. Athlete Mike Brown touches the ball every way. And defensive back Kawan Lee has five interceptions. They are 5-1 and one at home. Their other loss came on the road. What are your keys to victory for the Flames? Well, you look at what the Flames have to do this week. Playing the Seawolves of Stony Brook. You know you have those two talented tailbacks in Catino as well as... Edwin Collins. You have to load up to stop the run. That's number one. They have to really put eight in the box because the Seawolves have problems passing the football. Load up to stop the run, make these guys beat you passing. Two, you also have to mix up your de continue to mix up the defensive coverages. The Flames do an outstanding job on defense, mixing up their coverages. They confuse a lot of quarterbacks. They play really good football. You saw they had West Virginia on the ropes for a little while, so way early in the season, because they can, they can mix up their defensive coverages. If they do that against the Seawolves, they're going to have some success going away. They'll be able to load up and stop the run with different run blitzes that they're going to implement this week against the Seawolves. And what the Seawolves need to do, they need to get off on the right foot. They're getting outscored by 29 points in the first quarter if they want to stay in it against the Flames. They really need to get it going from kickoff. And penalties, they have 70 penalties compared to their opponents who have 46. That is way too many but Tyler Santucci is a bright spot on the defense. 86 total tackles, 12 tackles for loss, 2 sacks, an interception, and 2 pass breakups. That is great right there. But what are your keys to victory for the Seawolves? As you mentioned, they got the running back tandem in Catino and Goins. How can they beat the Flames? Well, you start with the quarterback, Michael Coulter. He has to protect the football. These guys can run the football. Problem is when they have to throw, they either turn it over or they can't complete the passes. He has to protect the football and make plays in that passing game. Otherwise, it's going to be a long day. Two, defensively, you know the Flames have an explosive offense. We understand that. So defensively, you look at the Seawolves. They cover two might help these guys. Keep everything in front of you. That way you're able to get pressure with that front four and allow yourself a chance on defense. Because if you try to get out there and cover three, cover four, they're going to run right past you, and they're really going to burn you as the mascot names with the Flames. I like Liberty in this game. Liberty can pass the ball. They can run the ball. They can play defense. Stony Brook is one-dimensional. I like the Flames, too. are undefeated in conference. They're going to take out the Seawolves who have one conference loss, and the Flames will be on their way to a Big South championship, and we will see them in the FCS playoffs. For more, visit footballgameplan.com slash smallcolleges.